what happens when you get Mila's biggest, largest coffee machine, the CM7, and you also get Mila's biggest expert when it comes to coffee machines. Mass, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you doing, Rob? Fantastic. Mess, before we even get started, who is and what is Miele and where is this thing made? Sure. So Miele is a German company. It's been around since 1899. Uh, started up making cream separators back then, but of course, not much of a market for that anymore. Long time ago. That's a long time ago. They started going into washing machines, uh, including the wooden tubs, and of course, into dishwashers, vacuum cleaners, yeah. and of course, into the appliance section where we're very well known for that. Uh, and eventually into the um, truck machines. Now, is um, I know a lot of this stuff, almost everything Mila makes is made in their own factories in Germany. How about the coffee machines? So although most things from Mila is made in Germany, the coffee machines are actually made in Switzerland. Okay, Swiss made coffee machine from a German company. That's phenomenal. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. The CM7 is your largest, most uh, celebrated coffee machine ever made so far. The first thing when it comes to coffee is that you got to have the right bean. So the good thing about this machine and what makes it unique is that you don't actually really have to choose just one. Because if you're making an espresso, you want to have an espresso bean, right? Yeah. But what about when you're having a latte macchiato or like right. the regular coffee? And maybe you want to have a different bean. What about in the evening? Maybe you want to have a decaf. Why do you do that? Well, this one actually solves that issue by having three different bean containers inside. So you can actually choose the bean for the right kind of drink. Wait a minute. So choose, yeah, and there's the different size uh, bean hoppers. Yeah, they do too. bean hoppers because of course there are going to be drinks you primarily drink, and then there's going to be some that has more occasionally. So there's no reason to have the same size uh, capacity for all of them. Uh, you're going to have the bigger one for the regular drinking, and then for the more unique situations. But again, it's about you can actually have the right bean for the kind of coffee you make. This is a great. A number of choices that's fantastic but how do you tell the machine how do you communicate with the machine as to which bean you wanted to use for drink that i'm making now for instance sure there, there's actually a couple of options with that um when you set up the machine the first time uh, you can label which container has what now we already did this the first time we set it up uh, but if you go into your um settings mm -hmm. i go to type of beans you can actually see the different containers here. Uh, uh -huh. Already been labeled by me for espressos, crema, and decaf. Now you can rename uh, rename this to be whatever you want. Right. But from there on, uh, there's two things you can do. You can you can assign the beans to a specific coffee. So if you already always want to use your espresso beans for your espresso, uh, you can assign it. So you can do that in here by changing allocation. Wow. Now, if you don't allocate a bean for it, it'll just come up and ask you which bean you want to use for the drink. So if you already kind of go back and forth between yeah. the different beans, yeah. you don't have to allocate it. So right now we don't have any allocations. And let's say yeah. I'm Ooh. going to make a drink. Let's say I'm going to make a coffee or whatever. A coffee for Sam will come up. It'll say, which, which bean do you want to use for this? Now we can go back and uh, here we can get a cancel it. That's fine. I mean, if, if you have something in your house where it, does that, you're fancy. Yeah. You're just a fancy person. So we can go back into the, uh, the to the settings and we can go back into the beans and then we can select, for example, the espresso beans. And then we're going to say that I am always going to use it for espresso. So next time I press espresso, it will just automatically take from that bean instead of asking you for a prompt. That's a big thing. I don't think I've seen this in, in this category of residential machines. At least I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, this so, is a unique feature for Miele. We are the only ones who have the three bean capabilities. And, and part of that is because of the grinder we use in it. It's very different. So this is where it is different between other machines we have. So the grinders are normally a, a standard conical burr grinder. This one's actually slanted a bit. And the reason for that is it's going to select the bean. After it's ground the bean, it's actually going to blow out the grinder so you don't have any residue left over. Wow. And that way you can always can make sure you don't have a mixture of flavors from your different coffees. There's that is bit. really cool. Yeah. So there's another nice thing this feature on it is that you also have the capabilities you can bypass in grinder. So let's say you are on a trip somewhere or, you, you know, it's the fall, you get like a spiced pumpkin latte kind of thing. Right. Uh, you can use uh, pre-ground coffee in the machine too. On the side of the machine, when you open it up, where the where the brew unit is, right. there is a little spot where you can take it out and oh, add okay. ground coffee. 
So three different types of beans, and you can also use flavored or decaf ground coffee. As wow. Well. Most choice of all the machines we have in terms of what kind of coffee you want to use when you're making your... That's phenomenal. Beans. All right, now let's see what kind of drinks you can get out of this machine. Uh, what do we have here? We have... Oh, oh we're going we're gonna to go through all of that. Yeah. This. Tell me, okay, what is that doing? So right now it is racing. So because I opened up the ground coffee shoot, it may think that I have been using a ground coffee in there. Now to make sure that I didn't actually say no, it's going to rinse and make sure there's nothing left in there. So it doesn't pollute, if you will. But this thing keeps going up and down by itself. And what's the story with that? That's, so that's pretty cool. Neat feature with Mila uh, coffee machines. So our building machines have the same feature. It is an automatic height adjustment. So depending on the kind of glass you have in there and the height of it, it will automatically lower down to minimize splashing on the volume. That's thoughtful. Yeah. Fantastic. So for example, one of the great things with Mila machines is right. that you can have that full control. So we already right. talked about how you can have the beans, right. you the right one for what you like, yeah. but you also have full control over the parameters of the drink itself. So how many beans it takes in, how hot it brews, and the, all the cost customizations. Now, if, before we even get there, I still want to know what different types of drinks we can get out of the machine. So sure. on this screen, we have drinks. Okay, so... Well, first off the bat, it has pictures to make it easy for the first most common drink. So it has a little icon for your espresso, okay. have an icon for coffee, cappuccino, and latte macchiato. As you scroll through the menu, it will then have it written out for the right. different drinks. You have your strato, your lungo coffee, like a long coffee, your cappuccino italiano, cafe latte. You also have your espresso macchiato, cafe au lait, flat white, cafe americano, as well as your long black. It can dispense hot water by itself. Uh, this is great if you're doing teas, of course. Uh, you have hot milk and milk froth by itself, too. Yeah. Nice little addition to your drinks. And then there's actually specifically for teas, uh, the right temperature. So if you want to have a green tea or a black tea, it's going to be a different temperature for the hot water so that wow. it's the right temperature, uh, so you get the best results from it. Right. Um, you can also make a coffee pot. So this will make from three and up to eight different um, uh, in a row. Oh, uh, three cups, four cups, five, all the way to eight cups. So the nice feature with that is that, for example, if you want to fill up a thermos for right. the day, or if you are having guests over and you don't want to have uh, them all by the machine the whole time, you can just crank out the number of cups. You can get a little coffee pot from Miele itself as an yep. accessory. Or yep. you can use it doesn't it. come with it, but it isn't an accessory that's available with it. That's fantastic. Whatever you, 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 whatever you have, you yep. can use. There's no requirement from us. Um, so yeah, so you have all the drinks in here. You can also do a teapot, again, where it just cranks out a lot of hot water so you can have it for right. your tea. I see a big edit button, edit button here, which then tells me you can change the configuration, change the drink, reset drinks. You change the drink probably means the, the customization as to the parameters. Yes, so you can go in as we go in here, we can change the drink parameters or the portion size. So, for example, if you want to change how much it dispenses, you click on a portion size. Otherwise, you can do the drink parameters where you can change how much coffee or how many beans it essentially uses to make your coffee. So, like in all the other machines, you, you bring in a certain amount of uh, beans, up to 15 grams worth. It grinds it up for you, and then it makes it into a little puck and it dispenses the drink through that. So, if you want to change how much it goes in, you have to go in here, crank it up. Uh, you have a brew temperature, and again, the idea behind uh, the brew temperature is that you're going to get the right temperature you'd be able to drink now. Right. Because, I mean, there's no point in always having drinks super, super hot so that you burn yourself. You might as well have it able to, to drink right away. So you there's, can change it. There's five different There's levels. a lot of different temperature to settings. Uh, for example, if you want to have it really scorching hot, you get up to 89 degrees on an espresso shot with this little guy. Yeah. Um, or you can go in and change it down. Now, if you are doing a milk-based beverage, normally I recommend having the temperature a little bit higher just because the milk overall is uh, going to be a little bit cooler than your normal coffee. Um, so okay. uh, it will cool down from that. You have your pre-brewing. Pre-brewing option is essentially it, um, after it's made the puck, it wets the coffee a little bit. And it preps it essentially for the extraction process so you get right. more flavor from it. Uh, so you can have that off, short or a long time. Um, so wow, have that short. That's a lot of and then of course you can change the beans here. So we already showed you how you can assign the bean. Uh, if you want, you can also do it inside the uh, the parameters as aspect. So if you already want, you know you're gonna want to use the crema bean, for example, you go for that. Um, now let's show you how that works. So the portion size. Um, now again, we didn't assign a bean, so you just select which bean. We're gonna use the espresso bean, right, on this one. 
Okay. Um, actually, uh, maybe use the crema bean. Yeah, okay. Because it is a latte macchiato, so I think we would... Again, fancy. Look at that. Adjust itself to the right height, um, and off it goes. Now, one of the nice things with this, too, is that uh, oh, wow. when you're doing a froth-based drink, you're going to notice that uh, before it dispenses the last portion of the coffee, it's actually going to raise up a little bit, just to make sure that it doesn't dip the stone nonsense into the froth, in case you'd like to have it kind of give it a little bit of a hit. Let me see. There is a double shot feature right there. So this changes on the fly. If I wanted it to have a double shot of espresso, I think I can do that right there. Well, right now we're still programming, but if you were dispensing it normally, yes, you could. Now we're going to, that's more than enough. Fantastic. We probably got too much, but that's okay. We can reprogram it afterwards if you like. And then we're going to do the milk froth right now. It's going to suck up the milk, uh, inject air into it, give you a nice froth. Now, at Miele, we always recommend using cow's milk. It's going to give you the best results. This machine is programmed around that. Uh, for that, we recommend 2% as being the best combination of both uh, thickness in the, fro uh, in the froth and as well as airiness. You can use 1% or 3%, whatever you prefer. The uh, machine right now, you can actually hear it grinding right now. Uh, so it's grinding the shot and there's a little bit of uh, extra noise right there. That's actually it blowing out the grinder as we talked about earlier. So you don't have any uh, cross-contamination, if you will, between your beans. And we had a little bit of proof reading on. So again, the machine will tell you in the front what it's doing right now. So you can always follow along. So the pre-brewing does take a couple extra seconds because it is prepping the coffee, but it does give you a little bit more flavor and I normally highly recommend it. As it's dispensing the espresso, there is a minimum amount of dispensing it can do, uh, but as soon as it gets to that point, you're gonna press save. Uh, as you noticed here beforehand, you see how ready it, it did go up just a bit. Uh, well, let's call that pretty good about now, I think. So we're gonna save it here. Now this is just once, right? This is the once you program it, that's it. Done. And the great thing is, you can, again, you can program this for all the different people in the household can have their way of having it. So if you prefer your drink to be more milky or less milky, you can change it. And there's your nice froth on that. Eh? Woo! <laughs> great. Well, it's a nice microfoam. It's a beautiful looking drink. Mess sharing is caring. And one of the features of Mila coffee machines is two drinks at once please do see if you can solve my problem when on sunday mornings i have to decide who gets their drink first me or my wife well first off it's always your wife yeah but uh Thank what you. you do is you enable one shot for two yes and then you just select a drink you want it can be anything from a spot okay so i just press this and then anything i want yep, right so let's do a lot this here so it's okay two uh again we didn't choose our beans beforehand but again you can program it to do that right uh and right now it's gonna start cranking out too so again the cups uh the height adjustment is gonna go in yeah. it's gonna take out the milk now it's gonna dispense twice as much milk as it normally would okay because again we're splitting it between two cups yes uh and it's gonna make two shots of espresso to go on top of the end the great thing about hep is that uh you know this also allows you to make a really big cappuccino or latte um so if you have one of those you know big ones mindigo mugs for your sunday mornings yes you can put it in there do the one shot for two and they will make a double sized cappuccino for you that's fantastic with the coffee as well it grinds twice obviously so it's not just splitting the one shot into two it's literally grinding well, it, it always splits it into two, so they're the same temperatures because you don't want to right. have one be made and another one because that's... Ah, okay. Cool. okay. So at the end of this, it's going to be split between the two, but it's going to be the same temperature. It's going to be the same quality drink between... Split the two, but twice. Yes. Now, this machine does get this milk container to go with it as part of the accessories that it gets. We're going to go through the menu just after this is done. That way, I think it's... The the best way to get to know the machine is just taking a quick look at the menu options and settings and whatnot. So we'll do that now. But this is turning out beautiful. Something else too. So what as you notice right now, we are doing fairly large milk-based beverages. So if you have a lot of people over, you're probably going to run out of milk pretty quickly as well the container. And this is actually a very large container itself. Right. But what you can do instead is that, that you don't have to use this when you have guests over. You can mm. use, um, you can actually use this metal straw right here. It actually comes with the machine, right? The machine. Okay. Showing off your Mila fridge and uh, Absolutely. of course, of course. So if you have your normal two liter <laughs> container of milk, uh, you can actually pop up the middle here and we're going to do this on this container. Okay. You can actually take this 
All right. Pop it up. Okay. And exchange the straw to be the. Oh, wait. What? This is looking and good. And then you can pop it in right there. This right is such a beautiful zone. The first one is almost done. And now it's going to dispense the second espresso shop on top of it. There's the second grind. You're going to hear it bring in the bees, grind them up. And then at the end here, it's going to make a little sound. Yeah, right there to show you that it's blowing out the grinder. So again, you don't have that cross contamination for the next drink. And then it's compressing it, giving the right pressure to make that second shot of espresso on top. And now the, the machine lets you know exactly what it's doing on that screen there the whole time too. Absolutely. So that's fantastic. You can always follow along. So this is the only machine mo that has a touch screen in the whole Mila lineup from our stand. For our countertop machines, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, our building machines do have the touch screen as well. So this is actually the closest you can get for our top of my building and a countertop version. It, right. Again, you, you get those three bean containers, you get a special grinder in this one. Right. That's unique. The brewery is actually the same between all of them. Which uh, is phenomenal. Wow. Okay. So now it has no before. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you do have to see this is probably the most beautiful drink you can possibly get out of any coffee machine. And it's got the layers. It's perfect the way it is. Smells gorgeous. Dancing coffee all around. And you deserve this, my friend. Enjoy. Oh, Actually, why not take? Oh, you know what? I'll take mine. No, 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 no. This is mine now. I'm not giving it to you. But thank you very much. Let's go over to profiles. What is the profile story? Sure. So this one allows you to do up to ten different profiles because at the end of the day, everybody's going to have a different way for how they like their cappuccino or how they like their espresso. So you can create a profile for everybody in your household, and you name it up, and then they can change the parameters to suit their needs. To so just go in, and choose their profile, and off they go. Okay, so I can have exactly the kind of drinks that I want under my name, and then my partner will have exactly the way, you know, the drinks, this setup that's there. Right. You got it. So if you want a really milky cappuccino, you can set it up for yourself without having All to right. reprogram it for everybody. Okay, that's great. Now, also, the other thing we get is um, drinks, mobile start, profiles, and maintenance. Yeah, so there is a meal app you can use for these machines. Uh, some really powerful functionality of that one would be, for example, that you can use it to set up. So changing all those parameters can be sometimes a bit overwhelming in terms of what does it really do? Uh, well, there's a, a program called Barista Assistant in, in the app that will essentially make coffees together with you and, and ask you questions for what parameters you need to change. So it'll make one, it'll ask you if it's hot or cold, or do you want a little bit more strong or not? And then it will adjust it as you go. <laughs> uh, the other nice thing about the mobile app too, for example, is there are software updates you can do through the app too. So oh, if okay. future there is ever an update, you can actually push it through your mobile phone. And it right. updates the software on the machine. Well, well, after all, you are buying this as a quality piece. It's going to be around for a long time. So if there are anything, that is a nice way to get an update. Beautiful. Cup heating. So, so there is a cup heater in this one. You can uh, enable or disable in the top. Uh, so the reason for cup warming is really when, you, um, when you're dispensing drinks, you want to have it at the right temperature. Right. So although it may come out at 89 degrees for an espresso, once it hit a cold cup, uh, the temperature will drop. So if you want to have it at a specific temperature, uh, pre-warming uh, the cups up here will definitely do a difference. Phenomenal. I uh, adjust uh, the spout. That's fine. Meal at home, which is what connects yeah. you to the internet service and factory default. Yeah. So if you really mess up your machine, don't worry about it. You can put it back you in. You can always do default. setting. Maintenance. What is involved in my daily uh, to-do list in order to make sure the machine is ri uh, running optimal? What do I need to do for maintenance? Sure. So we try to make it as easy as possible for the consumer. Um, so for the milk cleaning, it's actually pretty simple. You can actually just take the straw out of the milk container, put it into the drip tray and then do a rinsing cycle on it. It will then shoot hot, hot water through it to right. make sure there's nothing there. Beyond that, you can actually have it lower the, um, the middle here in the maintenance mode. And, uh, and thereby you can take it all apart and clean it if you like. You can also run a cleaning solution through the machine if you prefer. It gives you a lot of options wherever you like and what your comfort level is. The other thing about it is that there are going to be uh, some cleaning of the brew unit. So right. not every 200 cups uh, oil build up from, from the beans will go in the brew unit. So you run a little a tablet through that. And then there's uh, the scaling. So one of the nice things about this machine is mm -hmm. that you have an option, and it is optional, to right. use a descaling cartridge. So for me, we have an automatic descaling um, option. So essentially right. you insert a cartridge in the back of the machine and that the scaling cartridge will keep on top of the machine as it goes. 
Uh, so any time between 6 and 12 months, uh, you only have to do around the scaling sequence at that point. Again, it all depends on what the water hardness is and how much you use the machine. Right. But it makes it a lot easier uh, to maintain. The last thing would be to um, to clean out the drip tray and of course where the, the pucks go. And uh, the drip tray is rather large in this one, so it takes a while to fill up. It does. Uh, but there's also quite a few uh, dishwasher safe components. And you can actually see that with a little symbol on the machine. Um, on the drip tray, then we'll have a little symbol course for dishwasher safe. Mm -hmm. So the last thing would be to remove the brew unit. Again, the room brew unit is removable in these machines. You can just go to the side, you can take the brew unit out and you can rinse it. Uh, and of course, like anything else you own, the manual will give you all the instructions for, for how and how often you should be cleaning some of these components. Okay. Um, now, as far as service and warranty is concerned, what kind of warranties offered with this model? Now you get a one year warranty from meal, parts and labor. Uh, one thing that's nice about these machines too, as like any other product from us, is that they can actually hook this up to their computers. So if they ever need to do any special maintenance on it, they can actually do all the little fancy stuff as you go. That's phenomenal. Comes with a one year warranty with all parts and labor included. We obviously ship this free of charge, a 90 day price match guarantee. Um, if we missed anything, if there's any questions, coffeewarehouse.ca you can chat with us there if you absolutely love yourself love your guests and you want to stay fancy the cm7 offers you everything you could possibly get out of a, an amazing coffee machine and mass i couldn't thank you enough sir for your time today appreciate it and thank you again